Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, what's up? We've got a new one from the Mandalorian line of Black Series figures. We have the New Republic Security Droid, number 23. This is, uh, the New Republic used these security droids for protection and combat, including aboard high security correctional transports, like the one the Mandalorian boarded in an effort to rescue the prisoner Quinn. So, season one, I definitely would like to get a second one of these, but we'll see how readily available they are. It looks to be pretty decent. I like the artwork. I like the, you know, I like the use of, you know, similarities in design between something the New Republic used and something the Empire used in the, like, K2SO style units. A lot of similar joints, um, similar sort of looks to the to the body and torso and legs and arms and all that sort of stuff. Um, but with a Republic spin, it's got the new Republic symbol on the on the chest there. But we'll take it open and uh, we'll crack this one open and have a good close look. But I do like the artwork on it. So yeah, let's open it up. All right, here is the new Republic security droid in all his glory. He looks cool, really cool. I'm actually surprised this thing stands up. <laughs> it's got really skinny legs. Um, but yeah, he's quite stable, even on like the mat that I'm using here for my light box. He's quite, causes a lot of figures to fall over, but this guy's quite stable. He's nice and, you know, he's light. He's not top heavy. K2SO was quite a top heavy figure. Um, whereas this one, not so much. Um, the only issue I do have with this figure is that it's not really painted. It's it's all sort of cast in this grey, and you sort of get that sort of plastic look to it. Um, whereas you know, if it got a coat of paint, like a like a like a matte grey or something like that, you might be able to, you know, disguise the fact that it is plastic. But it does look very plasticky. Um, I like what they've done with the silver in the joints there. That sort of chrome finish, that gunmetal grey, the orange. Um, those details are really good, they, they, they pop nicely, but the rest of the figures, it just looks a little bit plasticky for me. Um, it does come with the Rebel Blaster, the New Republic Blaster, excuse me. Um, and I also like that they've gone with the clear joints in the in the arms there. And yeah, plenty of articulation on this one as well, he's, he's really good, nice movement in the wrists, the arms, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, again, the shoulder flaps. All sort of looking very good. Can't tell where that's a yeah, it's a hinge joint in there, so you can definitely have your Mando figure fighting this guy off, or if you've got a couple of these guys, you know, I'd, I'd like to see them release the figures, the other characters from the the prisons prison episode. You know, had Mayfeld um, and the Twi'leks and Berg. I think they'd look really good. His little antenna up here looks like it may have gotten a little bit bent being put into the packaging. It's not really showing on camera, but you know, plastic sort of creates that white color when it bends. Um, looks a little bit like that. It's not it's not wobbly or anything, so there's nothing, no big deal there. But yeah, nice, nice looking figure. I like the, like I said, when it was in the box, the New Republic symbol there and another one on the back. So obviously whoever, you know, once the New Republic took power, they were able to commission whatever droid manufacturers made the K2 units and got them to tweak the design and create a new security security force for the New Republic as they tried to clean up the galaxy from uh, the Empire's reign. But yeah, really cool looking figure. I dig this a lot. Definitely would like a second one. Um, we'll see. We'll see whether I can get a hold of one at some point. If not, one is good. I am definitely trying to sort of just be very cautious with with what I'm doing with my money with figures these days because there's just uh, a lot of them are getting really expensive and uh, it's getting hard to sort of keep up with everything. Um, especially things like gaming greats, I'm, I'm going to definitely pull back and things like that. And if I can get a hold of them at some point, you know, awesome but if not whatever i'm not going to get too upset anymore it's going to collect what i like and have some fun so i'm not you know feeling like it's a chore but this one 
cool feet. I love the feet. Look at those skinny little legs. They're so strong. Awesome stuff. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really do appreciate your time. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you if you enjoyed it. it really helps the channel out. So another one coming up tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. Till then, may the force be with you always.